A very good morning and uh, welcome again to our daily devotion inside this morning. I want to share with you, your strength comes from God. Your strength comes from God. And uh, my text is found in Psalm 62 verse 10 and 11. It says, don't trust in your power to take things by force. Don't think you will gain anything by stealing. And if you become wealthy, don't put your ri trust in riches. God says there is one thing you can really depend on, and I believe it. Strength comes from God. You know, there are many times in life when no matter how hard we try, how much energy and dedication we throw at something, things just don't seem to come together. You know, no matter how much we try, no matter how much energy, things just don't seem to come together. There's no clear way through. And that's when we end up doing really maybe dumb things. You know, maybe we, we go into addictions and uh, we go, to, go into things that, you know, are just unruly, things that are really destructive. So, maybe you and I or you huh, have been beating up your head against a wall, a brick wall trying to get through something you know we're trying to get through this trying to get through this so it's just hitting the wall our hate is just hitting the wall trying to make your result happen make make uh let's let's get something happening let's get something happening but it just ain't happening so what do you and i do so what do you and i do well, some of us just keep on beating our head against this, that same wall, that same brick wall. We just keep on banging at it, banging at it, banging at it. There's, we thought that by doing that, maybe we will get some, some things might change. Sometimes it looks like it's a pretty stupid thing, but you ask yourself, what can I do? Well, some of us just keep on maybe beating our head against that same brick as though we are going to change something, isn't it? But then it's not going, it's not going anywhere. It looks like it's a dead end. And other times we decide that maybe to take things into our own hands, we just roll over the top of the people around us and uh, we will tell, ah, I don't care, you know, I just don't care. I just do my own thing, you know, to hell with relationships. I don't care. What does it mean when friends, family, I don't care. So it's frightening to think we ever think that way. But sometimes we do. We don't, it's like a don't care kind of attitude, isn't it? A lot of people say, I don't care. Just let me be. And sometimes this could lead to a lot of destruction and it could lead to a lot of harm to us. Or maybe sometimes we'll say, oh, if that's the way it is going to be, then I'm just going to go the evil way. Then I'm just going to do things that are wrong. And then some of us may think, you know, that maybe have money, we can, maybe if I have the money, I'll throw it at the problem. Huh? And some people do. They thought that, that by having money, it will solve problems and issues. The possibilities are endless. We can sit down and we can think, you know, we can think through this and we try and work things out. We just want a breakthrough. That's what we want. We just want a breakthrough. Money, no problem. Giving up relationships, being fed up with relationships, saying, I don't care. It's not a problem with me. Or banging on the wall again and again doing the stupid same old things, I don't mind. Because we want a breakthrough. We, we want what we want. And then we say that we will do dumb things just to get my way. Just to get our way. But then we ask ourselves this question this morning. But what other alternative is there? Our friends, this morning... If you're listening, what other alternative, alternative is there? Believe it or not, there is one. And it's much better than we may have thought. Because Psalm 62 verse 
10 and then 11 says, it says, don't trust in your power to take things by force. Don't think you will gain anything by stealing. And if you become wealthy, don't put your trust in riches. God says there is one thing you can really depend on. And I believe it, the psalmist says, strength comes from God. Strength comes from God. That's why we need to say, God, I need that strength to be able to get the breakthrough. I need God's strength to be able to be an overcomer. I need God's strength to mend my broken relationship. I need God's strength, even if I have money, uh, that I will be able to manage it well and to walk and do the desire of your will. So this morning, uh, today, will we say, God, it is you that I need. You know, all in all, as I go round and round and round and as I go through all the motions, I notice and I know that actually I really need God's strength to help me through. It says here, your strength comes from the Lord. Amen. So I pray and hope that you will find God's strength so real because this is the one thing that we can depend on, that God will give us His strength to live for Him. Amen. You have a great day.